So in single mode, it means that I have access of the individual cameras. You could see the iris here moved together on these cameras. Now I go back to dual mode. The moment I do that and select camera one and two, this fader becomes the iris of both cameras. So even though the iris, because of the lenses, is different, you see they are moving in parallel, okay? <laughs> Today we'll talk about a really special application of Red Komodo cameras, 3D capture. It's actually been done. It requires you to mount the cameras in a rig and figure out how to do all the cablings. But if we just look through all that, how do you control them? And that's the topic of this video. If you're doing 3D capture with cameras, any camera really, then what you need to think about is how can I control the cameras in parallel? Is it possible to do synchronized change of settings like lens and internal settings of the camera? And is it also possible to escape that and do individual adjustments if you want to synchronize the cameras uh, between them um, to, to shade them to match if there's any discrepancy on one camera over another one in the settings and so on. So all these concerns are handled by Skahoy. And our technology today is the Colorfly along with the Blue Pill. And the Blue Pill is the brain of this configuration. This is the device that talks to the red cameras over here. And the Colorfly is the interface for the Blue Pill. And uh, the Blue Pill has a web interface. We'll be looking at that later. But right now, you can see on the screen here the two cameras which are pointed to my little exhibition over here on the table on the side in the studio. They are obviously not in sync. They have different color settings and the lenses, <laughs> for one thing, is definitely not ready for 3D capture because they are different. So uh, I think the lenses for 3D capture and probably virtual reality is likely to be much different, more like a fisheye lens and definitely the same type. But today it's all about the control. The Colorfly has currently loaded a configuration specially made for 3D capture. And it works like this. So if you, if you look at the overall layout of the Colorfly, it has motorized faders that will work um, for iris. If I, if I go here and if I change to a different bank and if I had cameras here, we would see a different value load onto this. Now, it doesn't happen because I don't have any cameras in the other bank, but this is what would happen. The, the faders would fly around to indicate the differences in iris on different cameras and so on. Um, there you saw it happening, but that was because I changed into single mode, but I'll get back to that in a moment. So right now we are in dual mode. Dual mode means that camera one and two is selected right here. This is camera one and two. Camera three and four are selected here. So uh, these are camera three and four, like virtual cameras here next to me. If I go here on page five to eight, then there would be another two pairs of Komodo cameras and so on. So this configuration is designed for up to eight pairs of Komodo cameras. So far, so good. I only have these two. Thanks to Red for lending them to us and thanks for your support in this whole thing. I will go back to camera one and two and you will easily be able to imagine how the others would look. Now, the dual mode, just because I pressed this button earlier, means that we are escaping out of the, the, the pairing mode that you saw just before. So now I have both camera one and two selected actually. But if I press individually on these, then I am now controlling camera number one. You can see camera number one, this one over here. I'm adjusting the iris on the fader. And camera number two, I'm adjusting the iris on this fader. So in single mode, it means that I have access of the individual cameras. You could see the iris here moved together on these cameras. Now I go back to dual mode. The moment I do that and select camera one and two, this fader becomes the iris of both cameras. So even though the iris, because of the lenses, is different, you see they are moving in parallel, okay? So that's what you get. And the lenses are stepping, by the way. The stepping is not resolution of the fader, it's the lenses. These are photographic lenses, so there's no smooth iris on these units. But that's how it works. Now, I want to um, show you a little bit around on the controller otherwise, because we have a menu here with a home uh, screen. We have exposure, we have color, we have audio and presets over here. And if we go to audio, for instance, sorry, color, then we have additionally a menu up here for offset, power, slope, and uh, auto white uh, balance, I think. And uh, also enable CDL, something we can enable on and off. And uh, as we are working with these, uh, actually, now that doesn't work. See, the thing is that I'm recording on one of these cameras and certain things can't be enabled and disabled as I'm recording. And you'll see that if I go back to single mode here. So um, in this case, you can see when I press that button, 
I basically uh, turned off CDL, color decision list, the shading parameters. I turned it off for camera number two and it was on for camera number one, which is recording. So if I go into dual mode here, you can see they are now the same, but just before they um, uh, were not. Now, um, the, the thing that I want to show you is how we can synchronously change parameters, okay? And uh, we'll see how far we can get in matching these two up a little bit. But first, let's just look at these settings. You can see the slope is the same on the two cameras, but here we have a different value for power. If I press and hold, we should be able to reset this. And if I go to uh, the offset values, you can see that they are different across um, red, green, and blue for these cameras. But let's just press this button to reset them all to the same value. So here in the, in the web interface, you can see these values are changing along as I am moving this knob, they are changing on both cameras simultaneously. And that's the synchronicity you want for 3D productions. This is brought to you from the Colorfly in the dual mode, or if you go to single mode, having the cameras pulled up together, like you can actually press and hold this to have both cameras selected. That is, that's the same thing. It's just in dual mode, this is done by a single key press so that operators can easily select their pair. So this is true for all the settings in the camera that we can pair them up like that. You can even go to, um, iris and ISO speed and have the same thing happening. Uh, I think this is not useful if we go to ISO because here we are depending on the ISO speed being different because this would compensate a little bit for the lenses being different in this case. And this is why we see approximately the same light intake on, on these two lenses. The point of this video is really to show you how flexible the Skyway hardware and software platforms are. It's unlikely that you are about to make a 3D production. But if you think about what you have seen right now, it indicates that under the hood, there's so many ways you can do things with reactor, with the device cores, with the hardware we have, that it's very likely that if you have a complex situation that you need to get out of, if there's a, a control scenario beyond what other products can do, it's very likely that we have a solution to it and we would like you to write an email to us to ask if this or that is possible. Most likely it is, or we would like to, to know the use case you have for it. Before we uh, end the video, I would like to show you the configuration of this um, situation. And it turns out that it's really easy to go from the standard to the unusual. In here, inside Reactor, the web interface that, that governs the Colorfly right now, I have added the Colorfly panel for one thing, I have added the two Komodo cameras over here, and it's all connected and great. Then in the mapping section, I have a configuration for the Colorfly selected. Notice this configuration is called Red Komodo and 8 Camera Stereo, that's the name of the configuration. Now, if I change to generic, I'll go straight into a configuration that does not assume 16 cameras with device ID 1 to 16 is actually going to give me a freely uh, configurable camera selector where I could add these two cameras. So notice what happens with the panel as I just select this, it instantly changes over to this configuration and following the instructions of that configuration, you would now go to the camera selector and this is where you would add a new, you would write Komodo and um, set that up. You will select a configuration for your red Komodo camera. You could add a new one and here you could select, by the way, you see it's almost um, ready here. It, it popped up. Uh, you could select a different uh, camera from other manufacturers. So this is how you could mix and max, match cameras onto the Colorfly. So that's the, the, the usual way you would make a master camera controller out of the Colorfly, but it's so close to the special configuration. It's just a matter of of uh, picking another one in a selector box. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we have much more content on YouTube about the Red uh, Komodo and V-Raptor integrations. We also have content about other cameras that you are likely to own or want to operate from Colorfly, RCP Pros, and so on. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our social media platforms so you can stay in the loop of all the new stuff coming from Skahoy.